Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So this question is related to shear stress in fluids. So here we have a viscous fluid with a specific gravity ST equal to 1.26 and kinematic viscosity nu of 1.19 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared per second is contained between two large horizontal parallel plates as shown in the figure. And the fluid moves between the plates under the actions of a pressure gradient B, which is a constant, and the lower plate is pulled with a velocity V, while the upper plate is fixed. And the velocity distributions for this flow is given by the following equations. Given also that the, uh, the velocity is equal to 6 mm per second, the distance between the plate H is equal to 2.54 cm and B is a constant as given here. And notice that B is actually negative because the pressure gradient is actually negative. And the plate area is given to be 9 m squared. So here we are given ST, which is the specific gravity, equal to 1.26. And we know that ST is actually the relative density with respect to density of water. And we are given the kinematic viscosity nu rather than mu. And we know that nu is actually equal to mu divided by rho. So from that, we can calculate mu, which is equal to new rho fluid. And from there, uh, rho g is also given that by sg multiplied by rho of uh, water. So there are three things that we are asked to determine here. The first one is the shearing stress tau acting on the moving plate. This is the moving plate. And secondly, the force, the, sh the required shearing force in order to pull the plate. And thirdly, the power required to pull the plates. So in order to determine the shearing stress tau, tau is actually equal to mu multiplied by the velocity gradient. The velocity gradient is given by, by the gradients here. So the first part that we ask to calculate is the shear stress on the moving plate. So the shear stress on the plate by Newton laws of viscosity is given by mu du by dy. And this is actually at y equal to 0. So at y equal to 0. And we are given that the, um, the equations for the velocity profile is given by u is equal to b over 2 mu y squared minus hy plus V 1 minus Y over H. So the first things that we need to do is find the velocity gradient. So velocity gradient is equal to du by dy. So we have to differentiate these equations. So if we do that, du by dy is given by B over 2 mu 2Y minus h plus v and differentiate this one you have 1 minus 1 over h and um, we need to find out du by dy at y equal to 0 which is at the plate at the location of the plates which we want to pull out so du by dy at y equal to 0, all we need to do is just substitute 
the value of 0 here. So we have B H divided by 2 mu minus V over H. And we are given that V is equal to 6 millimeter per second. So that is 0 0.006 meter. H is equal to 2.54 centimeter. So 0 0.0254 meter. And B is just a constant. So it's minus 0 0.525 times 10 to the power of 2 newton per meter cube so which is just equal to minus 52.5 newton per meter cube and then the value of mu the dynamic viscosity so it's just equal to the specific gravity multiplied by rho of water that will give the density of the fluid multiplied by nu so that is 1.26 times 10 to the minus times 10 to the 3 that's its density of water multiplied by 1.19 times 10 to the minus 3 so this gives us viscosity equal to 1.4994 Newton second per meter squared. So hence we can now substitute the value and calculate the shear stress. So the shear stress is just equal to tau mu. Mu is 1.4994 multiply by the velocity gradient minus p. So minus B, B is negative, so that will become positive. So 52.5 multiplied by H, H is 0 0.0254 divided by 2 mu, 1.4994 minus, minus V, so 0 0.006 divided by 0 0.0254 and that will give us the value of shear stress is 0 0.312 newton per meter square okay so the second part of the questions is um, finding the force so the force as we know by definition, shear stress is force of the area. So hence, in order to get force, so we take the shear stress at the plate multiplied by the area. So, so it's just 0 0.312 multiplied by 9. So you have 2.81 Newton. And the final part of the questions is calculating the power. So power is force multiplied by the velocity. So that is 2.81 multiplied by the velocity is 0 0.006 meter per second. And that gives us 0 0.0169 and the unit is what? 